welcome to trumark today we are going to show you a liquid filling machine which works on weight based so many times you may have come across uh, different applications like where you want to fill from 100 gram to 5 kg or say 15 liter or 20 liter when the filling range is very high and you want a single machine for that then this machine is useful or the second application where the product viscosity is not constant batch to batch wise suppose your first batch viscosity is different second batch viscosity is different so the weight of the product will vary or the products like uh, temperature uh, sensitive products like vaseline petroleum jelly or uh, ghee or chocolate such kind of products are not same in viscosity every time so when we fill on ml basis the product will have different weight every time and the third is if your product label you need to mention it like weight based like grammage then of course you need to fill weight based because if you fill ml wise and your product viscosity is not constant you will never get same accuracy so this is the true mark weight based liquid filling machines let's understand the machine component first so this machine have two component first is the pump which supplies the product second is a load sale and a plc control weight control system which cut off after the desired weight is achieved let's show you one cycle first i have set the machine for to fill 100 grams so if you focus here on weight settings we have divided the desired weight in three cycles the first is coarse weight second is fine weight and the third is target weight the coarse weight is the major chunk of the set weight which we will fill very fast to get the higher speed and the fine weight the remaining weight we will fill very slow to achieve a good accuracy accordingly we will set the filling speed to there is the fast speed slow speed and the base speed so these three speeds we can set accordingly to achieve the accuracy we already set it for 100 g let's do the first cycle the machine can be operated either by foot switch or the auto mode there is no sensor if you need we can accommodate a sensor but the auto mode is time based like a cycle timer after every 5 second or after every 3 second it will continue filling but if sensor is not there and you don't put the container the material will fall so if you need a sensor we can provide a sensor in auto mode but currently we are showing you a demo using the foot switch mode so i'm pressing the foot switch to start the machine so if you see in the start major chunk was filled at a high speed which is 15 and then it became slow to achieve the good uh, accuracy the current uh, weight we got is 97.5 i'm trying another cycle again 97.5 so if i want 100 g if i check in flight weight so i will do this say 3 g because i am getting lesser 3 g i will explain what is this later on and how it affects our desired weight so now we are getting 100 g so in flight weight is the weight of the material which is still in the air and is it's not weighed by the system because this, that is still in the air so we can add it or subtract subtract it to get the better accuracy because machine as soon as machine uh, sense the weight on the load cell then only it stops but the additional weight which is in the air will fall and make the error so for that to account that additional weight we have in flight weight so we can reduce or increase the in flight weight to get the better accuracy let's do few more cycles and as soon as we place the container on the weighing scale first it tears down tear it to zero and then start filling so even if i place the half filled container it will make the this weight zero first and then it will fill like this even still it will fill 100 g in it so next container okay 
plus minus one gram we are getting, and if you fine tune, we can get exact hundred two. Instead of three, uh, let me write two point five and see the effect. Oh, sorry, I need to increase it. My mistake. It should be three point five because I I have to reduce the weight. So this way. So this is a five kg load cell. So zero point five to one gram is the tolerance of the load cell. That tolerance we can set. The calibration can be done with the weight. The calibration feature is there. Tolerance feature is there. Now. How about filling the 4 kg or 5 kg? Currently, we can show you the demo with the 4 kg container. So to fill this container, we need to take this nozzle up. Here is the bolt. We can loose this and take this nozzle up. And yes, if for some foamy product, we can give a diving nozzle uh, with the help of pneumatic cylinder, which can make the nozzle go down and come up slowly while filling to reduce the foaming. the product like floor cleaners uh, or some juices which forms very high foam then we need that diving nozzle and yes if you want to avoid the air compressor then we can give the shut off nozzle electric one so there is no compressor at all so to make it up we are just loosening it with a span up we can take it up so that it can accommodate the 4 kg container and then fix it again Push. now we want to set for 4 kg so i am stopping the machine going to the weight section setting it for the 4000 g for target weight fine weight i can keep 3 9 uh, say 8 0 and the uh, course weight i can keep 3950 and in flight i am making it zero for the now and later on i can uh, set as per the result i am getting i am increasing the speed as we are doing the hair fill and this as 15 and i am keeping the base speed same no change now let's tear it and start is set for 4 kg it's as simple as it's hardly took 2 minutes to set the parameters and i'm pressing the push switch to start the process and it's filling at faster speed and it will change to slow speed as soon as the force weight is achieved now it's feeling slower and then more slower to get the desired weight 4001 g this is very very accurate in 4000 g only 1 g error and that too we can eliminate by setting it more precisely okay so we will change the container we are filling one more cycle So there is no need to set any inflight weight for now, as we are getting the accuracy with these settings. But suppose if we were getting 4,005 gram or 10 gram every time, then I can reduce that 5 gram or 10 gram by inflight weight. Here. So now let me tell you about more options. As I said, we can do the electric shut off nozzle. We can do the diving. We can do change the pumps depending on the material viscosity. Currently, we use gear pump, but we can use low pump, pneumatic pumps, or diaphragm pumps. There are different types of pump depending on the product viscosity. And this gear pump is self priming, so it's sucking directly from that bucket. Bucket. if the product is very thick like creams lotions gels then we can give a product proper and give a low pump so it can move easily and the the pump can supply the product to the the weighing scale which have the controls with the preset weight and cut off at the exact desired weight 
if you have any questions any doubts or you need a full more information uh, or you have any technical issue with your application please get back to us Be below is the whatsapp number given in the video description or you can email us in the info at the rate truemarkindia.com or visit our website www.truemarkindia.com and we would like to hear from you your question your doubts and if you want any additional information or you have any challenging work for us you are welcome thank you for watching our video and to have watch more such videos and have such information please do subscribe our youtube channels thank you very much